Hey guys, Timmy here, and today I've got a pretty exciting video for a lot of you guys um, that have been subscribed for a while. Um, as you know, I developed a, a method to uh, extract the high resolution textures from Paladins and other Smite games using UMod uh, a while back and UModel. Since then, uh, high res has come out with a patch for Paladins and has done a few things differently, so now my method doesn't work anymore I've had a ton of people contact me in the past few months trying to figure out a new way to get into these high resolution textures and nobody's been able to I've been working hard to try to develop a new method and um, finally decided to try out Ninja Ripper and it was pretty straightforward it's not too difficult so I'm gonna make this short little quick tutorial tutorial for you guys and um, show you all how to get the high resolution textures now I'll start off by saying that you absolutely do need the standalone launcher it will not work with the steam launcher right now um, steam has a way of authenticating uh, games that are launched through its its launcher and if you don't launch it through steam then it just won't work so you have to use the standalone launcher from high res so you're gonna have to uninstall the steam version and install the standalone version it's a little bit of a headache I understand uh, if you all don't want to go through this this method and extract them yourselves I'm considering making a repository of all the high resolution textures if I have time if not um, I'm just gonna put the tutorial out for you all I may start up a little donation um, thing on PayPal for money to make it worth my time to create a repository uh, if that's something you're interested in let me know in the comments below and I'll get started to work on that um, but for now let me show you how this works first thing you're gonna need is Ninja Ripper the latest version and of course the standalone version of Paladins uh, after you have it extracted, you'll have a folder like this. Um, go into your x86 folder because it is a 32-bit game. Paladins is 32-bit and it runs in DirectX 9. So after you have a Ninja, Ridger, Ninja Ripper extracted here, um, just go ahead and right-click on it and click Run as Administrator. Or you can click Properties, Compatibility, check the Run This Program as Administrator box, click Apply, then click OK and then when you load it it will automatically run as administrator so go ahead and load it up after you've got it loaded up you're going to want to locate your high res launcher ui.exe normally it's in your C um, drive your main drive in program folders 86 and then in a folder called high res studios inside of the folder called high res studios you'll find a, a launcher called high res launcher ui.exe go ahead and click on that um, and then click run after you click run you'll notice that the game oh I do I have another copy oh I'm sorry I've already got a copy open so um, let's actually let's go ahead and disconnect the internet before you click launch I always do this before just to make sure that the anti-cheat doesn't interfere uh, so just disable the internet click run it'll bring up the launcher here for us all right and then click play make sure your internet is still disabled um, it'll try to get into your uh, uh, into the easy easy cheat thing the easy cheat shouldn't be able to connect properly uh, which will allow us to use our our injected DLL after that right click I mean alt tab back out enable your internet back once it's enabled go back into the game sign in take just a second and this is actually I like this better than the uh, the UMod method because it's it's a lot simpler to find the the tech the textures that you want so basically go to any champion you want we'll do bomb king um, let's do default and just go ahead and press F10 You'll notice that his animations kind of froze for a second. That means it's gathering all the textures that's within this scene. So since I'm looking at his model and it's completely loaded with his textures, um, it's going to load all the high resolution textures for that model. So if I wanted to get a skin, um, I could just go get the skin I wanted for him. Uh, let's see, does he have a weapon? Yeah, I guess that's it and now I've got that all set up and now if I press F10 again it's going to extract the textures again but it's also going to give me the high resolution textures for this particular skin uh, and you can do this with any of the skins any of the mods 
or any of the uh, the models. So after you have that, you can alt tab back out, go into your high res studios folder, and you'll notice that there's a Ninja Ripper folder there, and you'll have all these folders. Um, I just like to keep mine by date modified that way I know which one are the most recent and you'll want to look for the one that says paladins.exe because that's the one that's got the uh, textures that we need so uh, I guess we'll see which one's which we'll go down here skip the uh, dot rip folder um, files I think those are just for models and go to the DDS and let's see here go through these textures and you notice it, it cut a lot of the textures for the buttons and the UI and stuff like that. And keep going until we get a. Uh, I cannot remember what it's called right now. <laughs> but the type of image that we need to create the actual skin. So here we go. Um, this is the bomb skin, uh, bomb bomb king skins that we saw and all the different forms. Here's the 2048 by 2048 high resolution. Uh, textures for that skin that we looked at and if you know how to put these types of files together then you'll know that everything's here that we need to make high resolution models and animations we can even do custom skins if we want um, and I'm not sure but using this method since we can inject a, a DLL and in we may be able to inject uh, modified textures but I, I doubt it but it's a thought and really cool thing about this is, as opposed to the UMod method, uh, see here's the default skin that we had first. Uh, the default method, or the UMod method that I had developed, um, after the easy anti-cheat came along, people had developed a new method to uh, get past that and use the UMod. Uh, pretty much exactly what we're doing with this, uh, which was disabling the internet and then re-enabling it after you log in. Um, but it would actually freeze the game, it would kick the game off, and you wouldn't be able to stay in it very long. But with this, it seems like, um, it seems like the game is stable. It's not going to be kicking us off anytime soon. So, you can stay in here and get as many skins as you want. You don't have to worry about rushing. And then, F10 is the default, um... F10 is the default key to extract all the textures in the present scene. You can change that to any key you want within Ninja Ripper, but I just left everything to default right now. And let's see, we should got a new, another new set of textures just then. Yeah, so there's the third one. We can go down here to the DDS, or we can just do this. And see, we should have Tyra's stuff. I guess that's it. I was just looking over it just then. Yeah, there we go. That's the hair and the face. And that's the body, basically. So yeah, guys, I hope this is helpful. I know a lot of you have been waiting for a while, and I'm so pumped and excited that I was able to finally do this and get it working properly. Um, if you have any questions or tips or any suggestions, please leave them in the com comment sections down below. And we'll try to make this as best as we can for all the community. And I can't wait to see some of the cool stuff you are going to make. So, as always, thanks for watching. Thanks for being here. I appreciate your time. Have a great day.